what are your interests if it's not farming, you know? <laughs> and it's like, I don't think I particularly have any. <laughs> but hey, you know what? That's also a personality too. <laughs> yeah, and that should be empowering. Yes, my fellow basic person. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, if you're like, I also don't have hobbies or interests. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, look at me, look at me. You are still a whole person. That's right, you gotta own it. Uh, that was a snippet of her first comedy special named the best comedy debut of the year by the New York Times. Comedian, actor, and writer Atsuko Okatsuka joins us now with more on her work and upcoming shows. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh you my gosh. You have had a year, lady. Yeah. Holy cow, the special, the yeah. TikTok, I mean, yeah. crazy. Yeah. I know, I'm trying to keep up. I'm like, okay, don't get too, you know, don't get too wild. Don't forget where you're from, you know? <laughs> but busy is good though, right? No, busy is good, yeah. Yeah, I'm realizing I'm a workaholic, you know? <laughs> I didn't know that was like, I was like, oh, that's something I just read about in books or people say in interviews. Yeah, And I was yeah. like, oh gosh, like I can only relax when I'm working. So we'll figure that out. Right, yeah, down the line. I think that shortens your lifespan. A little bit. You know. Yeah, that's but. right. <laughs> so let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, your sure, name yeah. and yeah. the pronunciation or lack thereof of it. Yeah. I can relate because I also have a different sounding name, unique name. Uh -huh. It's Janiel, but you know this. Yeah, yeah. Many people don't know it because I go by Jay, which is right. a nickname of mine. But um, you tell your audience, or you did it one time, to call you Stacy because they can't pronounce your name. Right, and Stacy was a name given to me by a teacher of mine. Oh. She was trying to, she saw what was happening, all my classmates being like, is it Costco? <laughs> what is, it? is it Oscar? What is it? You know, I've been called all kinds of things. Yeah. Stuski, you know, I'm like, there, there aren't any G's in my name. And you, you learned know? to just say, oh, yeah, uh-huh, you, right? Yeah, and then she was like, why don't you try going by Stacy? And so I did, yeah. <laughs> for a while. For, for a little bit, yeah, and then I yeah. realized, you know, I just don't think I'm that, Bond, oh, <laughs> you know, it just like didn't fit. You crushed my name though. Thank I, you. Yeah, I she that. crushed I it. Like, I listened girl. to it so many times. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> you deserve the honor. That's right. Uh, Thank you. Getting all these comedy accolades to best comic to watch out for. I mean, how does that feel after so many years of developing comedy? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's cool, because you just keep doing it. You know, stand-up comedy is a very lonely craft, yeah. right? Yeah. You're like, you're on stage by yourself, you drive home by yourself. My car doesn't even have a CD player, so it's just me and the radio, or mm. sometimes in silence driving home, you yeah. know? And you can really lose it, <laughs> and so, <laughs> you know? And so, um, it's cool, you just go, I hope someone notices, I hope people yeah. notices, and then when they, when they do, it's really all came down really at once, cool. right? Yeah. 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 Well, they noticed you on TikTok, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You went viral. Right. But the yes. drop challenge. Tell us about that. Yeah. Drop challenge. You know, sometimes you do comedy for 13 years, and it's uh, it's your knees that get you noticed. <laughs> you know, uh, where I'm like, you know, I'm pretty good. It's my stand up pretty good, but uh, when I drop down low, wow, That's right. it's apparently out of this world. Well, so. By the way, I love your grandmother's expression in all of them. She's like, <laughs> she's great in all your videos, but that one, she's just particularly like. Oh yeah, I got I got to step away for a second. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, she needs space." Yeah. Oh, she needs room. And she, <laughs> that's, her, that's her giving me space. Were you surprised at how quickly this picked up? I was because it was just us having fun, you know? It's just something we like to do. Yeah. It's like have fun and put it online. Hopefully the world gets some joy out of it. Yeah. It's why I got into comedy is to like spread joy. And when people are like, I have knees, I like to get low, you know, and I saw it worldwide. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so your show here in Chicago, or, tell us about it. What can Chicago audiences expect? Yeah, it's new material. Good. Yeah, oh, cool. new material. My special came out in December, December 10th, and then they were like, "You're touring already. Get out there. Go, go back out there in January." I was like, "What am I going to talk material? about?" I know. I was wow. like, well, "What am I going to talk about? Uh, December?" You know, and <laughs> and so yeah, it's. But I I have an hour of wow. like new thoughts and ideas. It's sort of like a continuation, I think. Yeah, that's a pro because I know like a lot of stand-ups have to go out and try the stuff out, right. work it out in some of the smaller venues. But yeah. to get a whole new hour back out, it's got to be pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. Again, the workaholic. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, so a lot of talking to my plants at home, practicing there. Not your husband, just your plants? No, I'm trying to keep the marriage going. There you, you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when you're in your car and you have y your thoughts, is that how you think of new material or where do you find inspiration? Yeah, when I drive, when I eat too, strangely. 
Yeah. And my stomach and brain have this immediate connection. You know, it's weird. When I'm eating, I feel comforted, and that's when ideas come. It's weird. What, what yeah. did you think about, I know you were raised by your grandmother. Mm -hmm. When did stand up become a, a thought to be a career for you? Yeah, I think, gosh, a career, career, maybe not till I was like, you know, in my 20s. Okay. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, I had seen it when I was like, you know, in the sixth grade. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, you need a lot of self-confidence and support yeah. and the belief that you can do it. And so sometimes that's what takes a long time. Yeah. And what was it that made you just jump in? Well, you know, you have a low point in your life. I went through my first breakup. I went through my first heartbreak, and then I dropped out of undergrad. And I said, well, this is the time you jump into something. What, what's there to lose? Yeah. yeah. Do Good the point. thing you've always kind of wanted to. Yeah. So, right? yeah. Good, Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. So hit your low point and then follow your dreams. <laughs> you know? point I like off. your attitude. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> you got to have material, right? You got to hit that low point. Of course, yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about how great the weather is. Yeah. Right. That's a good point. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so for much. having me. This is really fun. The Den has an in-person wait list because both the shows Friday and Saturday are sold out, but, and that starts one hour before the show, so try and get yourself on that wait list. Once the show starts, any forfeited or unclaimed tickets will be available to sell to patrons on the wait list. And don't forget to check out her HBO special. It's really funny. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for Loved having it. me.